Hey everyone, this is Josh Hayward and happy Tuesday to you all. I hope that y'all are having a great day. It has been a while since I've done a video and I'm actually in the middle of preparing for a long pumpkin beer series. And while I've been out hunting pumpkin brews, I've come across a ton of different fest beers, Oktoberfest Mars and beers. So I um, decided to you know, grab a couple of those while I was at the bottle shop, the brew shop, and uh, do some reviews on them. I couldn't help but grab them when I came across them, and uh, I'm just going to kind of crack into a few of these over the next couple weeks before the pumpkin series starts. I've always loved the Oktoberfest style beer. It's probably one of the first styles that I fell in love with when I uh, started consuming craft beer. Um, just have always enjoyed it. You know, it's a kind of a special time of year. You know, the weather's getting a little cooler. The brews start to turn a little darker. Uh, but the Mars and Oktoberfest has, has almost been a little Americanized. Um, but the, uh, the history of it goes back to the days of Bavaria. And uh, Marzen or Marzen beer is actually the um, German word for March. And as history reports, I should say, uh, these beers were brewed in March and then um, kind of cellar fermented all the way up until the fall time, October time, and when they would do the Oktoberfest. Um, there was also some various uh, brewing laws in place that said that beers could only be produced between um, September and uh, April. So they finish up the, the, the brewing of this beer in March, put it in the cold cellar, let it uh, cold ferment uh, slowly throughout the summer months and then be ready for the fall time. So, um, but like I said, it's kind of a, a lot of the, the craft breweries now are kind of Americanizing it more. Uh, you'd find that the Mars and beer of today, uh, at least many of them don't look like the, the Mars and beer of history. There are still some, some brews, um, as we may see here with some of these German brews um, that kind of look like the, the traditional Mars and beer. But I'm excited about looking at all of these. It's going to be fun. Uh, you will notice not all of these are craft beers. Uh, Goose Island is actually uh, owned by Budweiser. You've got some Sam Adams here. Um, some local craft breweries, some kind of nationally known craft breweries. Anyway, all that to say, I'm really excited to crack open some of these Mars and beers. Hope you'll follow along with me. Tonight we are taking a look at Sierra Nevada's Oktoberfest. And Sierra Nevada is out of Chico, California and Mills River, North Carolina, just up the road in Asheville. Um, and this is a, this one, this one in particular is brewed in collaboration with Bro House Milton Burger. So uh, apparently they did a collab with a German brewery for this one. So looking forward to this one. This is their uh, 2017 version. Um, that's something else too. A lot of uh, with a lot of these craft breweries, their Oktoberfest will change from year to year. Um, different types of these specialty brews that they do, they tweak the recipe a little bit. So this is the 2017 version. Looking forward to it. Let's see what we've got. All right. All right. So we've got a beautiful, beautiful uh, amber color. Uh, amber. Uh, it's, it's a it's a unique color. I wouldn't say it's amber. Or I wouldn't even say it's a. Uh, uh, it's more of a golden color. I'm, I, was, I was searching yellow and then searching amber. What's between yellow and amber? Golden. Of course, it's uh, kind of a golden type color there. A little bit of a, kind of getting a little reddish hue towards the middle of it. Not much, uh, but very, very clear beer. There's no haze in that whatsoever. Um, very, very crisp as the lager should be. Mars and beer being a lager. Um, there's a little bit of a white head on this. Again, not, not too much. Um, but looks like a lager. Uh, looks very crisp, very clean. So let's see what we've got on the nose. Smells very fresh. I'm not getting a ton of stuff on the nose here. Uh, I think um, one of the, the main things I'm kind of getting is as a white bready type type scent. Also getting a little bit of fresh hop type um, notes there. Um, Say maybe like a, a floral variety of hop. Um, definitely no no fruity type flavors in that whatsoever. Um, these are typically in these Mars and beers. It's it's uh, German type hops, typically noble of the noble variety. But yeah, just very very crisp, very clean. I even even use that descriptor when I uh, describe um, scents too, because there's it's, it, the the scent isn't very muddy. There's not a lot going on. It's just very very. Um, very crisp, very uh, to the point on that that bready that bready scent, and then a little bit of that hoppy scent as well. So 
Let's see what we've got. Cheers to Sierra Nevada and Brawl House Milton Burger. It's a good beer. Definitely a good beer. I'm getting, getting some of that bready type taste in there. A um, little bit of caramel note in there as well. Um, very, very pleasant, pleasant bitterness on the backside. Again, uh, that, that noble hop variety. Um, kind of some uh, fresh, floral, spicy type notes for sure. But not a lot of sweetness in this brew. Just a little bit of hint of caramel there. White bread, bready. No, I wouldn't say white bread. I would even I'd say like a toasted bread. Kind of a toasted bread type taste. Um, then the uh, then a little bit of, a little bit of caramel in there, and then some the, the pleasant pleasant hop character. I, I really like the hops used in here. Um, again, it's a it's a good complement to that slight sweetness at the beginning, um, but just very very pleasant. Um, good beer. I see these different years. This one's 2017. I'd like to compare it to last year. Um, too bad these things don't keep that long, um, but yeah, it's interesting how they uh, they tweak these from year to year. But very pleasant beer. A uh, little bit of a bite at the end. Um, can't say that I find that in a lot of Oktoberfest type beers or Mars and beers, um, but I think it goes well with this particular one. Um, no complaints whatsoever. Um, pretty straightforward Mars and beer. Um, kind of getting that. Uh, um, get that, I don't want to say lager flavor, there's no such thing as a lager flavor, but um, knowing that it's a lager beer, knowing that it's uh, Mars and variety, uh, it lines up with the style, and it's a it's very, very pleasant take on it. So, cheers to Sierra Nevada and Brawl House Milton Burger on this particular Oktoberfest collaboration brew. Thanks for following along, you guys. Cheers.